The Bayou Dragons podcast would like to thank Floyd Fabrication for sponsoring this podcast. Listen, guys, if you're starting a business, you want to get some prints, you want to get some hats, you want to get some canvases, whatever your need is, Floyd Fabrication's got you covered. Ben Floyd down there in Florida is a real great guy, great friend of the podcast. He has taken care of us in every regard possible. If you guys want quality prints, you want quality shirts, you want quality hats, Floyd Fabrication's got you covered. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on Facebook. That's Floyd Fabrication. Red Bull Energy Drinks. You see the commercials? They say they give you wings. For us, they help us when we're in the marsh, when the deer blind. We're trying to complete orders of the shop. Start my morning out with a Red Bull. Finish my evenings out with a Red Bull. They have a lot of B12. Yep, I'm growing wings. We'll get into that. But anyway... Welcome back to the Bayou Dragons podcast, episode two zero, episode twenty. Per usual, it's me, Mitch. We got Tanner back on here. He's been on a few different times, and we have a special guest today, old Ben Floyd with Floyd Fabrication out of Orlando, Florida. He flew all the way down here to the big state of Texas, and. We have mentioned him multiple times. He's a sponsor of the podcast. We've done plenty of business with him. He is a wizard with making hats and shirts, and we just want to just greet him here today. Thank you. Oh, Ben Floyd, guys. So, Ben, before we get into it, how was your trip down here? Shit. Yeah, Houston is terrible. <laughs> the airport is garbage. Um uh, you know, uh, you probably could do better. Yeah, well, you went to Bush Continental. It's huge. It's one of the biggest ones in the, the nation, and I've never had to uh, try to rent a car there, but you told me that was a pain in the ass, especially with two children. Yeah, you boys drive everywhere, so, I mean, wh- what do you expect? Yeah. No. got a pretty good vehicle, too, a nice uh, Dodge 1500. Yeah, it cost me more than the flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Floyd, he, he literally just, as soon as he landed, he's like, dude, this place sucks. Well, I'll tell you what, he gets to stay at one of the uh, nicest beaches in the country, uh, Bolivar, Crystal Beach, Bolivar. It is just a phenomenal beach, and he's uh, very fortunate to be able to stay right here on the Texas coast. Yeah, he was telling us just a minute ago that, you know, Bolivar is no <laughs> comparison to uh, Tampa. Orlando. <laughs> yeah, and Tampa, both. It's, it's like beautiful. It's, yeah, it is. He said the sand doesn't stick to your feet. No, nope. he honestly he's this is and if I'm lying, I'm dying. He's like comparable to Cancun, and I was like, damn, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. There was a a lady out there like asking me if she wanted me to to, to have my hair braided and whatnot. Oh hell yeah, yeah. That sounds like Jamaica boy. Yep, <laughs> sounds about right. Yep. But yeah, Floyd, man, we we're glad we finally got to have you on. We, me and Tanner have both met you before this time. We've traveled over to Florida. We've had a blast. You've taken us and showed us a good time, and I'm glad you're able to come down here, man, hang out with us. So, I appreciate it. Florida, just, uh, Florida is great. Texas is better. It is better. <laughs> we'll we'll definitely argue that fact, and I think some people <laughs> from Florida would definitely argue that fact. Not all of them, but some of them. Not the Florida man, but um. Yeah, dude. So I just kind of wanted to get you on here, get your little background story. Because when I first talked to you, you're like, "Yeah, I just do hats." And then I started figuring out like little bits and pieces about what you've done. And I'm like, "Well, that's cool as shit." It's like I would like to actually sit down and talk to you about this shit, like beforehand. What? Just tell the people what you did before you were doing Floyd Fabrication. Okay, so uh, Floyd Fabrication started in 2016. Uh, we started doing anything that we could get our hands on. So it was a side hustle for me where it was uh, cutting boards. It was uh, just small pieces of furniture. It was just anything that someone would pay me for, right? So you needed something fixed in your house. Perfect. We'd do it for you. You needed, I mean, dude, during, I this is fast forward a little bit, but during COVID, like, I literally finished some lady's uh, uh, mother-in-law suite. I finished uh, uh, tiling a couple people's houses. Like anything that we could get our hands on that would pay is what I did. So you're basically a contractor. Oh, yeah. I don't have right. any of those credentials. Yeah, but yeah. You, were, you were doing it though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever paid. Yeah. So Money's money. 
Yeah, so now it's just now anything with a logo. So wood, metal, plastic, acrylic, uh, embroidery, uh, that's kind of what our niche is now. It's anything that has to do with embroidery, leather patches, hats have been selling. So whatever we can do with that, and that's how we met you guys. We, we hit you up on TikTok, said, hey, if you're looking for a guy, we're your guy. You hit us up on Instagram. Let's not get that uh, crossed. Sorry. Yeah. I, w- I want to get to all of that, but what I was referring to was you used to be a professional chef. I did. For how <laughs> many years? So I, I was a chef for 11 years, um, and I, I did Disney the whole gambit. So uh, five locations in Disney. Um, I met my wife at Disney. She's still a chef there. That's why we're in the Orlando area. There's no other reason. Uh, and that's how we did it. So what, what I thought was cool was, so we kind of met you around the COVID time or right after the COVID time, right after. Yeah. And you were telling me when they did the MLB, uh, finals M- at Disney world, M- NBA. the NBA, if what I say, MLB, my bad. I, I don't watch basketball. Um, my head's stuck on the Astros right now. One on one against the Phillies. Hoorah. But um, you were telling me you had certain basketball teams you were, like, being a chef for? Yeah, so when Disney was closed for COVID, like, any anything that was related to NBA, they had there. So if they wanted a uh, private dinner, if they wanted a private i mean even down to like getting your hair cut that was all done on disney property and no one was allowed in so we had to get special permitting we had to uh get covid tests daily it was it was wild a little ridiculous yeah do you remember some of the teams that you were in charge of uh we did we did the magic we did the heat we did um uh, I'm not too much into uh, NBA either. Yeah, but and so you just, I mean, you're just cooking up mac and cheese or whatever the fuck you were cooking. Yeah, and surprisingly for NBA, like they ate like children. Yeah. Chicken. You know, it was chicken nuggets. Yeah. It was burgers. It was. Little Caesars. <laughs> I heard they're hiring. Did you, you, you <laughs> cook them some pizzas or whatever? Yeah, yeah. That's cool though. I mean getting to work hand in hand with one of the biggest sports organizations in the world. Yeah. And there was, there was something going around that they were paying Disney a million dollars a day <laughs> to be sat there. So geez, you must've been getting all that money. I got zero dollars. Well, that's good. That's good. But no, I just thought like when I, when I first had talked to you, you were like, yeah, now I do hats, but I used to be a professional chef. I cook for NBA teams at Disney world. I'm like, <laughs> Well, that's a lot cooler than what I do. Uh, it's cool, but it's not cool. Like, it's no family life. It's no regular personal time. It's It becomes your life. So you're so what you're saying, you're pretty good in the, the kitchen. Possibly. Possibly. But Tanner cooked dinner tonight. Yeah, Tanner did. Courtesy of the Dragons, man. Thanks, Tanner. baby. Did I do okay, Floyd? You did great, brother. I, I appreciate it. it. My son liked it. Everybody liked it. My wife liked it. Yeah, dude, his son has smashed them hot dogs, bro. Just no bun, no condiments, just eating it, bro. Oscar Good. Myers. Good. That's the, what I like to see. Them ballpark franks, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Floyd, so you got done with doing your show. Or how many restaurants did you run at Disney World? Was it, like, one or was it, like, multiple so at at the end i only ran one so i ran one at the grand floridian which is one of the nicest hotels um it was citrico's so we would do probably like 300 guests a night which is pretty low for disney standards but it was fine dining so you yeah you're like doing caviar and shit we did have caviar. Yeah, oh. there was a chef's tasting. There was, you know, it was a nicer restaurant. You'd probably get out of there for two people, 150, 160 bucks. Yeah, that sounds like a Wednesday night at Taco Bell. 
Maybe for you. <laughs> for, for, for Mitchell, for sure. <laughs> for Mitchell, for sure. I try to stay away from Taco Bell, honestly. Well, you can't get thing. nothing delivered here? That's the best thing that could have happened is the Taco Bell and Winnie closed. Shut up. No, that's the worst thing that happened. Dude, that, it that really like, destroyed our area. That well, I will tell you this. I do. I mean, I love Taco Bell. Like, enjoyed the Winnie one, but they were fucked up all the time. Though. Oh, yeah. They were they always were. out of shit, out of fucking ground meat. Yeah, cheese. You know, you, you cheese. Can't. I mean, come on now. How does a Taco Bell run out of but cheese? But they had ground the beef? best employees though, out of any fast food joint ever. Uh, poor, poor management, I think, is what it was. What brought them so. down? So now we got to drive all the way to Beaumont. Yep, and I'm not going Taco to Beaumont Bell. for Taco Bell. How far is that drive? Twenty five minutes for me. Ah, uh, for me, God it's about forbid. Ten, maybe. I can't do it, dude. Not for Taco Bell, boy. <laughs> Twenty five minutes? No, I can't oh, do it, dude. Boy. If they could, if they would Uber Eats to I my mean, house. You're used to that traffic and shit to where it took you an hour to drive three miles down the road. How long ago did you come to Orlando? Uh, September. I was like an hour late to dinner. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> One hour. No, it wasn't an hour. It I, was, g- I gave it, you 20, 30 minutes at top. It was bad. And I know the area, and they were still early. And I was late. Hell yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Did did Floyd take you out to a nice restaurant like he did us, or did he kind of pooch you? No, it was, it was very nice. <laughs> did he did he take you to like a little Caesars? No, no, it was like a I took him to Taco Bell. Oh, okay. What was it called? Yard House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yard House. It was like a very nice upgraded sports bar. Oh, dude, Floyd took us out somewhere. Ooh. Where, Oh, dude, no, dude, no, I'm about to rub this shit in. Sorry. So Floyd was like, man, I know, like, since you're the man, I'm going to take you somewhere nice. And like, That's not how it went down. That is exactly how it went down. We went to, like, the uh, the Disney Yacht Basin area, went and sat down at this nice restaurant. He had the, chef, the main chef come out and sit at the table with us. Damn. Bro. And she was like, this is what, like, so it sounds like I got the shaft. You got the shaft for oh, sure. Oh man, that's fucked but up. But it, it's fine though. But you you don't talk to Floyd every day. I kinda, nah, you got the yeah. PG version. I got, you got the, the PG. PG. He went rated R, bro. And this shit was good. We ate like it was one of those where they walked out like, "Sir, here's your meal," and it was this big, you know. And I was like, "This is fantastic." That's not how it went down. <laughs> we just had a lot of wine, we and did. like we drank primarily through the most of the day we drank copious amounts of wine <laughs> that was tough alcohol great time great time but <clears throat> so floyd you got into the hat game now and you've started to you're pretty reputable in the hat game i hope so that's like that's probably the thing that i worry about the most like are we producing good enough stuff that it can become a legacy business like that's what drives me the most. How can I produce something or be to the point where, like, we're pro- we're just the best that we can be? You know, like, there's nothing more that I can ask for myself or the people who work for me or, like, the people who I work with. Like, how can I be the best? Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd, like we were talking about earlier – our good friend Leah, it was hilarious that she emailed you and was like, I need some good hats. The company we do gets shit, and I know y'all make good hats because Bayou Dragon's got that fucking fire. So I, I don't know if you get a lot of those messages a lot saying, I know you got that good good. Can you give us it? <laughs> I, but, I get messages to where people are either in, like the inquiry, right? So they're price shopping, like, there's a lot of people who do what I do, but there's also a lot of people who do what I do that do it poorly. So people are always really hesitant when they're spending money on stuff that they either can't tangibly see. Right. So like, you know, when they're buying a product from you, it's already produced, it's already available. It's already ready. So they can see it. They can see what it looks like on somebody. They can see it. I mean, like, look, when, when you, wear a new hat tell me it doesn't sell better yeah look at mitchell yeah, yeah. well 100 percent. like if we're wearing it people are gonna see it you know i mean yeah. it's all about i'm the only one not it. wearing one of your new shirts that just dropped today yes well porter's not Blue well porter's sleeves. wearing it but it's yeah, under his hoodie. yeah no by the way new long sleeve shirts 
online by you dragons.com. Go ahead and plug that in there. Check them out. They are fire. They, it, Tanner sitting front and center. He's wearing it. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, definitely probably my favorite shirt we've ever had. 100%. By far. By far. It's comfortable. Nice long sleeve. Keep you warm. Yeah, because it's, it's a little solid. It's a little chilly in Texas. That's what first thing Floyd messaged me the day <laughs> one he was here. He just goes, this weather's fucked. Because he showed up on a day it rained 17 inches. Oh, it was 58 degrees out here. Yeah. He just left Orlando, probably sunny and 75. I was wearing shorts and a T-shirt. Yep, and now look at you wearing a flannel and jeans. Yep. He had to go buy jeans specifically uh, just to I, listen, make it through the I week. I thought the flannel was very Texas. It is. Thank it you. is Texas. I do enjoy. I should. We should do Bayou Dragon flannels. We could do that. We could pull that off. What have I been saying? Dude, but can you get us those flannels, the one you got on right now? No. Okay, then. I mean. We can get you some. We'll we'll figure it out. Buy you dragon flannels. Drop a like if you want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, um, so you've been down here for a few days. Have you uh, done any exploring besides just kind of figuring out if you just want to go ahead and just move here? Yeah. So we've been looking at shops. Um, we've been kind of just trying to see if this is something that we like. Uh, so the business has been doing well enough that my wife gets to hopefully stay home with our two boys. And that's like, that's huge. For, yeah. For the, the dudes that got kids, like that's a big thing, man, to retire your wife. Like that's probably all time best thing to feel. Yeah. Mitch knows he's already done it. Yeah. Yep. Already did that. Mitchell's already retired his wife, but like I told you, Mitchell's rich. So he comes from just a long line of millionaires. Old money. Old money. Old money. Oil money, I believe, and now, right? now, Indorama money. Yeah. Indorama money. They pay $98 an hour or something like that. 90, I, I, 99 50 an hour. 99 Sheesh. 50 <laughs> Yeah, no, so he's... <laughs> Can I work for you? They're <laughs> bullshitting, by the way. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No, All he, right, I didn't mean to mess up the conversation. No, you're good. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't. We didn't even get into Mitchell starting OnlyFans, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we'll I guarantee that, that if you boys started a Dragons OnlyFans, mm, maybe not that, but like a calendar, which we, we already need to, we need to speak about. We're gonna do that. Like that would sell, dude. I we've already me and you have talked about it in a serious note that. You would produce the calendar. Yeah. We get Easy. 12 photos of different dudes, just a bunch of dudes. And the yoked dude who you had on the <laughs> TikTok the other day, George, that everyone George. is yelling about. Yeah. Dude, that's he fu- is now that's January. Uh, he's on contract, man. We got him on a contract. <laughs> yeah. He gets <laughs> free <laughs> he gets free beer and like a free hat every video they get. Every like 10,000 views he gets, he gets two free beers and like yeah. a piece of apparel. <laughs> like, yeah, that shirt's one time shirt. use, bro. As soon as he puts it on, it wrecked. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> sun gets stretched, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that dude there. He was messaging us today. Just try. He he loves it too, and I love that he loves. He's a good f- dude, man. Oh yeah. Well, we sure were talking. Dude. It was like uh, uh, from my point of view. So like, I only see you guys from the outside. Like, we don't see the amount of hate that you receive every day. So like, when you guys get some good comments, I mean, you know, like. Yo, dude's yoked, or you guys are great, or you know, uh, uh, the the first people to buy the same stuff. Like you guys recognize that they're the same people buying your launches every time, and that's pretty cool, man. Like, shout out Hunter Fuchko. <laughs> that dude there is the realest. <laughs> oh my God, he's the first one to buy. He the has launches. more apparel than I have. He does, and it's at your house. It's yeah, it's in my shop. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> He's got more inventory than we got ourselves. We may have to hit him up, man. We're running low. Hit <laughs> yeah. up Fuchko if we need hey, some inventory. Fuchko, we need some. Uh, we need some of our shit back, boy. We'll buy it back full price. But uh, y'all need to check out. Like, I know you, me, and you fuck around a lot, Floyd. And you're like, <laughs> that wasn't obnoxious. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we talk about it a lot. Like, you know, like we have we have a little bit bigger following than you. But your page, though. Once it does get traction, it's going to blow up. And I enjoy the shit that you do. Your videos are immaculate. Like, 
I just don't. they're so clean. They're clean. They're so Fuck. clean. Like you would think Mitchell's doing it. Yeah. Woo, that, that I asked him. Whoever, I said if we move down, he's got to. Whoever's doing Floyd's videos is they're clean, man. They're fucking good. Y'all need to check them out. Floyd Fabrication. Look him up on Instagram and TikTok. He, uh, I mean, I find it interesting. Like the 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 transitions between like like it's stitching in a hat, or it'll be you mm. looking all serious as fuck like you know doing something with a hat and then there's literally no difference between me and the video and like what actually happened i know i can't turn it on or turn it off you're working the same you're just working yeah but it's interesting and that dude is a whiz whoever is very cinematic yeah Yeah. so the dude uh his name's uh I'll, i'll plug him if you don't mind his name's raymond he owns a company called timeline forever it's out of orlando florida uh, so what I do is I actually pay him to come in, like I'll pay him for the day and he shoots whatever. And then he'll send me three, four or five videos generally like real format. And I chop them up for the month. So I chop them up for 30 days or whatever, uh, until he comes back and that's it. Well, dude, they're clean. We've shared some of them, you know, like that you do our hats and they, gain some good traction people are like man that's some hand quality shit we're talking and yeah it's, it, dude it's hard so like some people like them and some people do not like them so it's really hard to videos? continue that yeah yeah some, videos are top notch man yeah, whoever I, doesn't I like them doesn't know shit well i guess some people just don't find it interesting and then that's it, everybody has their own niche like people don't find what we do interesting but it's fine who cares i think you're wrong but it's fine <laughs> but like I, I think the whole process of the hat, like making and everything, and just how clean the cinematic look of the video, it looks good. People don't realize what it takes to make those hats. So, like, not only is it that video, but it's the laser, it's the hand cleaning of all the leather, it's the sewing of the hat, it's the cleaning with a, a lighter. And that's just the leather portion. You know, if you have embroidery it's the digitizing it's the logo it's the discussion of what blank you want and what a lot of people don't know is like those blanks they are a hot commodity and everybody wants specific colorways everyone wants what you can't have currently so we stock a whole hell of a lot of hats yeah like seven thousand approximately Seven thousand hats. That's a couple. What about five grand of them are Bayou Dragons hats? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> you boys, I probably got like six cases. Hell yeah, for, for you. I mean, of just your OG stuff, and it it makes sure that you guys have what you need before you need it. Hell yeah, no, which that's is, what I'm talking which, about. Which is nice. Not a lot of people do that, or and and it's like. Look, to me, I, I think that business can be business-to-business transactions, but a lot of the time, like, look, we wanted to hang out, so we took a flight out here, and we're having a podcast, and this is all business, yeah. you know, but it can be friendly. Yeah, we had dinner before this and drinks and all that, and you came to Orlando, and we took care of you, and it, it, just business can be different. It's 2022, like you can be whatever you want. You can be a lizard person if you want to. Yep. Like do what you want. <clears throat> if you want to have a good relation with uh, Ben Floyd, just start buying a bunch of fucking hats from him. No lizard people involved, please. <laughs> oh no, we don't discriminate by you dragons. If you're a lizard person, go ahead and buy our hats. <laughs> <laughs> you look good in them. But yeah, dude. So you've been thinking about moving to Texas, and I think that's a. Uh, would be a great move on your end just because then we would have you right here. It'd be a lot easier for us. For we sure. have a <laughs> lot. Uh, a, we have a lot of people that purchase our stuff like in Texas. So yeah, it is a, there is a possibility, you know, there is ideas, you know, so we'll see. I think Orlando is really saturated, not with stuff in our market, but you know, Disney takes up a large portion of that, so all of the rents and all of the shop spaces, all of that stuff is super expensive. I've and been I wanted to ask you a question. So you worked at Disney. How is like Mickey Mouse? I mean, 
as an owner, is he a decent boss to work for? Is, you know, I don't is know how that he, is works. Is he listening? Uh, it, I don't think he knows who we are. Have you, have you checked? No, I've, I've, I don't he know. Might, if, he might have him a Bayou Dragon hat. Dude, if, if Mickey Mouse counter? has a Bayou Dragon You never hat, know. Dude. If that's not Photoshopped at the end of this. I, I think we could actually. Someone's laughing. Should be the cover of this podcast, Mickey Mouse and the Bayou Dragon Dude, hat. Dude, Ben, Flo- is there a Tanner, <laughs> Tanner's <laughs> arm around Mickey at Disney? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We could pull did, that off. Did you see all that shit for a while, Floyd, whenever we talked about that on that podcast of Tanner going to Florida? Like the big trip of they the year. They shit talked me for like six <laughs> weeks about what, going what I like Disney I, World trip. What I liked about it the most is when I dropped that punchline, Tanner had no response for like 10 seconds. He, he'd had no response. Yeah, I, had no idea. I had no idea it was coming. He had it planned the whole time. I hammered him. Mitchell, the whole time, and he the, hit me with it in the middle <laughs> of a fucking podcast. I know you've listened to all of them, Floyd, but just to recap on that one, Mitchell's like asking about like big trips we got, big trips we got, and he goes, and Tanner has a pretty big, big trip coming up. I believe, huh, Tanner? And Tanner's like, we're talking about like fucking Ireland and yeah, deer hunting and shit, <laughs> deer hunting and, and all. He says that I'm just confused. As shit. He's what, like, you got a big problem with that? About? Yeah, exactly. No, like, there's exactly. no problem. I was That's being, you know, pretty genuine. You're, you're genuine. the only one that hasn't been out there. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. He is. I'm gonna take you to Taco Bell. Probably be a couple <laughs> years. I'll go. I'll be going. But it was just so. He's like Tanner, your big trip going up Disney World. And then, like, it was an ongoing thing where people literally messaged us. And, like, I was getting literal emails saying, has Tanner gone to Disney World yet? No. I dude, swear. They posted a fucking picture on Instagram of me standing in front of the castle. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And tell everybody else at Disney World. <laughs> and they captioned it, Tanner's big trip. And people literally went, finally. Finally, he's there. <laughs> Bro, you like, got you got people rooting for you. I don't give a shit. That was a damn good vacation. I spent a fuck ton of money. No, dude, oh, I dude, yeah. That's <laughs> a that's and a and got to see Ben Floyd. Dude, I, I dude, I literally did the same trip a month before you. So I don't like it was just funny that Mitchell targeted you. Yeah. And yeah. And Mitchell hasn't gone out of a uh, fucking Texas in ten years, so yeah. Isn't isn't this the farthest Mitchell he's traveled from home? Mitchell yeah. can't afford this to is drive his big to trip. Louisiana. This is Mitchell's why, big trip. Why have you this not? is my vacation right yeah. here. Honestly, coming to Bolivar for the night. This is a big <laughs> deal for me. <laughs> this takes a lot of money to come out here. Gas, <laughs> fucking yeah, I mean, dude. It's shit. thirty-five miles for us. So. Man, Oof. Uh, I'm yeah. on a tight budget, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have bought a seventy eight hundred square foot house. Yeah, well, I mean, I a fucking brand ass spanking new Honda Pilot. Hey man, gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, thank you, Lay right. by the way, for hooking up <laughs> yeah, Mitchell on the shout out. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> hey, if y'all need to go buy a new car, go to Silsby. Um Donaldson? Gilman. Oh no, um I think it's Gilman. He doesn't remember. Silsby Gilman. You don't, you just bought a car there two days ago. You don't remember where the fuck you bought it? I think it's, oh, I dealt with no one, but Leje came to my house with the vehicle, and then I went up to the dealership Jesus. the next day. But I will Hell never yeah. buy, I won't buy a vehicle from anybody else. Dude, Leje sold me my vehicle, man. He's a, yep. he's good. Y'all look at Ryan Leje on, he, did y'all see his OnlyFans? Yeah. I, yes, one. yes. So, Floyd. You've I've seen his OnlyFans? No, no, no. Did no. you pay? It's not what you think. It's not what you think. So, no, he has a free OnlyFans, and it's him. He just started it, and he's doing photos, like, on cars. And he's, like. All his cars that he's got on the lot. At the dealership. At the dealership. So, he takes a photo in front of his, like. On an OnlyFans. Watch. Yes, on OnlyFans. And he goes, watch me knock off this prices. And. <laughs> pump this uh Dude, he's the best salesman that has ever lived like, like Han- just- watch me this eight or it said over 18 year old honda civic watch <laughs> me fill her up with premium gas or something you know and it's him like cross-legged like smiling on the yeah but why are you boys not doing the same thing yeah but if we why? do it I'm, i want people to pay dude <laughs> he's doing this shit for free no no he's getting paid yeah he, with commission selling vehicles yeah, commission yeah it's about to get hard out here for those he guys. Pulled, he pulled Mitchell. So yeah, if he, he could pull me. Mitchell, he could pull many others. He did pull me. Yeah, Mitchell saw his OnlyFans was like, damn, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that exactly. But he offered you Taco Bell, didn't he? He said he'd deliver it with the car. <laughs> no, he just gave <laughs> me a good deal, man. He's a good dude. That was funny. But, yeah, so this is Mitchell's big trip. Uh, Congratulations. We might, we might try to get him out here to Bolivar. Again, in a few weeks, you know, if he can, he'll have to pull out his 401k, but I might have to. It's fine. It's a good, I'm glad you're able to make it to meet Ben. This is your first time since you didn't go to Florida with us. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we're there's ba- no hunting. So we're basically in Florida right now, or Bolivar. <laughs> yeah, I would say, in all honesty, I mean, Bolivar. It's not really about the the beach, you know. Bolivar is more of a place you just come to hang out at a cabin and chill. I mean, you're not gonna. The beach at times can look pretty nice at times of the year. I don't know how it looks right now, but there's times where it looks pretty good. But mainly, come down here just to chill at a cabin and drink beer and <laughs> cook. This episode of the Bayou Dragons podcast is brought to you by Snuff Cup Spittoons. It's a really neat product that we have partnered up with Matthew Baker, the owner of Snuff Cup Spittoons, a machine washable plastic design that unscrews at the bottom, holds your can of dip, you do your thing, spill proof cap, and the new XL Snuff Cups are magnetic. Listen, guys, I don't know about y'all, but at the end of the day, I like to crack open an ice-cold Lone Star Light. We would like to thank our sponsors, Lone Star Light Twisted Tea, for sponsoring the podcast. Listen, we like to have a good time. If you know us, if you're a follower of the show, we love to have a good time. We like to have that camaraderie on the back porch, whether we're grilling, whether we're chilling out, ice-cold beer in hand. Lone Star Light is the go-to. Texas-based, Texas-proud. If you guys are drinking a beer, it better be a Lone Star. And if you're not drinking a Lone Star, you better not let us hear it on the Bayou Dragons. Southeast Texas, Bolivar Peninsula is pretty close to like Destin, Florida. I couldn't uh, tell Tampa the difference. Hey, yeah. yeah. So that's good. I mean, you've been a native of Florida for how long? 11 years. 11 years. Where were you before that? Uh, before that, we went to school in Pittsburgh. Uh, before that it was Akron, Ohio. Before that it was, uh, Arizona, Texas, uh, Minnesota. That's so right. I forgot you were in Texas for a little while. So yep. you're a nomad. I, I, I <laughs> guess. I, I mean, you just named off seven fucking places. I mean, that's pretty nomadish. Bit. Yeah. And what did you, did you sell hats in all those places? No. No, no, no. no. That is a a new addition. Yeah. And, you know, like if if any good business owner, it is how can you uh, continue to produce products that clients are liking, right? So we fell into it, right? So the, the first part of the business, it was just wood signs and like how many of those can you sell to somebody? One? I don't know, but you... Those are pretty sick looking. We, I've been wanting to get us one. It, they, they are good, but you're going to need one. Yeah. I would <laughs> one, like one for the one shop. One for the shop. One. That's, that's yep. it. Perfect. I'll yeah. have, <laughs> unfortunately, one payday. You know, so how can you how can you do any business with that? Nothing. It's not possible. A one sale of one. Of, of one thing. Of one yeah. Thing yep. At all times. Yep. I mean, how many times, how many times do people buy hats from you guys? Multiple, right? Yeah, yeah, they do. And there's I would say right now is probably prime time to be in like your shoes because there's everybody's trying to start something. Everybody's doing hats. Everybody's doing shit like that. So you're in a good spot, I would say. Uh, I'm in a good spot, but people aren't willing to pay the premium because there's a lot of shops that are older that are. I, I would tell you more established, but they're willing to do embroidery for lower cost, right? So uh, it, it's a numbers game with an embroidery or with any product development. It is how many can you produce in a certain amount of hours in a day, right? So if you're running eight hours a day, five days a week, you know, you have X amount of time to produce stuff and what does your machinery look like to produce those products? Yeah, but, like, so before we had you, we had a small little shop hooking us up, you know, and whatever with the price, but they literally couldn't. And probably most people that will complain about price on, like, you do premium quality work, and your turnaround is very efficient. Like, we'd order a case of hats from this other company, and it would be a month. I'll alert you, and it's like, yeah, boy, got you. They'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, like. And shipped. <laughs> well, like, 
<laughs> I, I appreciate it, but I wouldn't tell you that you don't get special treatment. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to understand that there are people who are not as communicative as you guys are. Like, if I ask you a question or you ask for something, like, I get the answer. And that's all it takes. Yeah. Like, like we're saying, you message me almost every morning at like 5 a.m. It's a little early. <laughs> well, yeah, like... You're, what, but 5 a.m. your time or 5 a.m. my time? Uh, usually like 5 a.m. my time. Because it'd be like 6 a.m. over there for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're like, hey, just at the shop. And I'm like, Ugh, what's up? You know? <laughs> and I've already been up, drank a cup of coffee. Yeah. Took a shit, you know, did the whole thing. Depends on the night. Yeah, it depends on the night. But last night it was a late night and still was up at 4 a.m. Went to work. So that's it. <laughs> But yeah, so you're um I know you you and Tanner have some pretty big plans tomorrow. It's a uh, Halloween. Uh you are both dressing up, correct? Yeah, I'm going to dress up like you. Okay, good. Yeah. And I'm going to dress up like Mitchell. Good. He's <laughs> Tanner's going to wear stilts and get a mustache. Yeah, stilts, uh long hair. Really uh, trying wig, to scare the kids wig this coming. year. Huh? Who's wearing uh, and who? Crocs, that's all I need. Right. Yeah. And that's it. That's Who's, that's, who's dressing that's up Mitchell. like the yoked guy? Oh, that'd be, I guess your wife could just can put like a, a muscle suit on. <laughs> uh, yeah. And hey, I, I could I guarantee you I could invite George and he'll just show up. Well, he has a kid. Yeah, he's got a kid. Y'all just need to take the biggest guy in Hampshire, Texas yep. and bring him with y'all trick or treat. George, if you're we, listening, you're invited to Halloween tomorrow night. <laughs> we for sure getting full size. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, y'all are going to go, Tanner's going to take you on a little Texas trick or treat trail. Okay, so, like, I'm I'm a family man at heart. Like, that is why I do what I do. Um, that's the reason I left Disney. It's everything. So, the the first thing I asked before I came down here is, can we trick or treat? He literally texted, before I even knew you were coming, Yeah, he texted me, hey, man, uh, you going trick or treating on Halloween? <laughs> like, that was, the only, that was the only thing it said. And I said, like, yeah, I mean, if I'm off. I will be taking my son trick or treating. No, no, you probably didn't even say your son. You probably said yes. I'll be trick or treating. Tanner goes more for him, I think. Tanner enjoys the trick <laughs> and the uh, <laughs> treating. Because <laughs> where Tanner's going, they get full size candy bars. Full size candy bars. Sometimes money. I think they throw out. <laughs> yeah, out there. In Is the that in your neighborhood or what? Yeah, yeah the, Tanner's yeah. neighborhood. Seventy yeah, five acres. acres. Dude, Tanner's neighborhood's so like diverse and like you know big. Like sometimes they'll be like. It's like trick or treat. They're like, look, we hid eggs in the yard, and it's like we're not even in the right month. And then you do a full blown Easter on Halloween. Like this is a no shit. Tanner was telling me about it yesterday. What the fuck are you talking about? I would say it's more of an elite neighborhood that Tanner lives in. For yeah, sure, no doubt. It's a new addition. It's Can I move in? It's yes. an elite. There's, There's a house for sale. I, I, listen, three I told houses Porter to for break, sale. Break me off an acre. One is no. being uh, nope. built, and it's for sale for at the moment. How no. much? I believe they're asking uh, too much. Five ninety. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not, or maybe it's four ninety. It's four ninety. Well, unfortunately, that's not as saucy as Florida is. So, yeah, yeah that ain't. No, that that's bad. that's yeah, that's a dime in your pocket in yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah, Florida. Unf- that's unfortunately, high rollers live. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get, I mean, because you were thinking about for a while moving to Miami, huh? Like that was your. That's not the case. You were wanting to live on the beach and just. You know, hats don't pay that much. <laughs> but yeah, so Dude, what, I got to sell a lot of hats to pay. So you're going to dress up as me for Halloween tomorrow. Yeah, That's yeah. good. I can't wait to see that. Y'all should do a TikTok live while you're trick or treating. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. Yeah. On Floyd Fabrication. Yeah. Page. I, I can't even get TikTok live. I don't have a thousand <laughs> followers. Damn. Y'all oh, need to thing. follow. No. It's Everybody it's go good. follow Floyd Fabrication. Yeah. So, so we can do a fucking live tomorrow on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> follow Floyd Fabrication. It, it'll be like 300 follows. Hell yeah. Uh, cool. Instagram is where we're at. Uh, it's nowhere near by you, but it is what it is. Yeah, man. We but do all right. You're, you're growing, dude. Uh, listen, what I would say is that we are the most progressive uh embroidery company like we're actually producing content that means something right and we'll continue to do so regardless of if we move to texas or wherever right like 
we want to make sure that content is cool, right? And sometimes we produce content for Bayou or another company and Snapper Slapper. Yeah, yeah. I, I did uh I did the Captain Ryan Warhola. Y'all have seen him on the podcast. Yep. Yep. All his hats get done by Floyd Fabrication. We do the hats, we do the stickers. Yeah. Yep. For those dude, that blue and red snapper slapper hat is fire. I haven't seen you wear it. Huh? I haven't. Because oh. I can't pull it off. You, you don't like the rope hat or what? Tanner, no, I think it's sweet. Oh my god, everybody loves a rope hat. Not me. I haven't wore a single rope hat, boy. They go through their phases with hats because no. they used to both talk shit on the seven panel. And I now can't the first seven wear. panel hat I've ever worn. I, I can't tell the between you two. Like it, you're wearing the same clothes. We literally look the same. I'm just yeah. lacking the Crocs. Yeah, you gotta have the Crocs, man. And the stash. No, the stash. No, we'll I'll, draw I'll, one on. I will go ahead and put this live where people can hear it. Don't buy Crocs <laughs> ever. Okay. <laughs> My they, got they're good house shoes, man. That's Dude, really. I mean, did, you wear you them can, everywhere. You argue, wear them everywhere you go. Argue your fact. I'm just going to tell you right now. Porter May says, "Don't buy Crocs ever." Oh, he doesn't have it in sport mode. So and I know. hope they don't ever try to sponsor yeah, us because I'm going to tell them no. They're in chillax. You will not tell right them right no. I you will tell them yes. I will tell. Dude, good, do you, you know? fucking know how expensive Crocs are? I don't give a shit. It doesn't We're, matter if they're size 18 or size one week. <laughs> They're forty fucking dollars one week. You yeah. know what? Crocs can eat eat my ass. That's what I'm gonna say it live. <laughs> so I don't care. I hope I would rock over some Crocs if dude, they were free. Over I'm, forty bucks. No. Yes. You know what? I like. I it. would rock the shit out of some fucking Crocs. Good. Over forty bucks. Over they better 40 not. Bucks. They better not <laughs> message us. I better not get an email from Crocs. I'm gonna well, tell them we they're, they're they going are, to. They've already sent one. Yeah. I've just seen it pop up. Yeah, Crocs. <laughs> Croc, you better give us partial of your sales, and I'll wear a pair of Crocs. That's how I wear some Crocs. Give me money, boy. That's not gonna happen. Nope. Well, I am surprised Mitchell's actually wearing Crocs though, and they're not the off-brand Walmart brand. <laughs> Great <Crocs>. value. <laughs> they're they're called Gators. These were actually a gift, so I didn't even buy them. Are those the ones with no tread, slicker than Al Snot? These are That's what it looks like. Low on tread, so yes. Just retread them. You good? Yeah. yeah. Send them to Floyd. Floyd Fabrication. has a laser. Ah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. has a laser <laughs> edger. He can. So Floyd yeah. does hats, and he can etch your Crocs where they have some grip on them. Please God, don't send me Crocs. Please send y'all smelly ass Crocs to Dude, Floyd. You could do a badass design on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna stipple your gun and your Crocs. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. <coughs> Speaking of guns, holy, hopefully old Kohler gets our guns back for that Montana trip, man. Nah, I'm looking will. forward. Looking forward. <sighs> what, all this work so far. When are you good. going? Uh, the 10th. That's going to be a tight time frame to get those hats to you. Uh, Yeah. I might have to send them to you in Montana. No, no, no. Tanner will be home. No, I'll be home. Tanner what do you mean? Get them. Tanner's I'm not, not going. coming. I'm not. Uh, no, but you don't want those hats. Fortunate enough we to do go want to Montana. Oh, oh, the... uh. The f- the floofy ones. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to get you to individually send those to our hotel room. Yeah, that's fine. Like, well, I could, you know, or that, or I could ship them from the shop. Yeah, you could. Or Floyd can just send them to Or us. Floyd could. Do. It doesn't matter. When, when I ship to you guys, you know it's like, so three days to Texas, and then yes. an additional two days to BFE. Hmm. It's they a don't. five day ship. To Montana? No, no to, to us. Oh, to us. Yeah. Oh, I never yeah, told him. Yes, yes. I never told him that, that it so takes a week. I don't think. Far. No, you did. I, uh, I knew oh that. Oh my god! It's just for. I ship them. Well, you next confused me at first. You said three days, and then you said to be- us because I can ship anywhere in Texas. Three days. Yeah, because we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. And you want me to move here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, you should move there. Because then that five day shipment turns into zero. Ground fucking run and go yeah. get it. We got new hats today. We're in Floyd Fabrication right now. He's right. actually in the middle of it. He's sitting there like, what the fuck's happening? Why is there a camera on me? It's Perfect. Mitchell and Crocs just <laughs> filming. <laughs> just uh, like, oh, my yes. God, what's happening? Uh, there you go. Yeah, dude. Nice Come on with Local it. shop. Yeah, dude. Well, put it out there. If anyone has a shop. Uh, here in Southeast Texas, that's yep. willing to rent it out more than fifteen hundred square feet. More than fifteen hundred. Yeah, it has to be bigger than a trailer house. Ben Floyd will get it, please. So, yep. like, but yeah. yeah. So 
Floyd, have you just out of curiosity, you ever done any um, cool travels or anything with like any of your business? Like when you were a chef, did you ever have to go do like something like, because I know you did some stuff in like New York for a while and all kinds of stuff that you got perks with, with being a chef. The coolest thing that we did, um, so for four and a half years, I worked at a uh, the the best restaurant in the state of Florida. It was called Victorian Alberts. the The coolest stuff that we would do is just we would work with stuff that I couldn't afford to even comprehend. It would be uh, John Dory. It would be. Uh, a, uh, turbo, it would be it, just wild stuff. Stuff that uh, Mitchell has in his kitchen. If he's got that big house, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, truffles, yeah, uh, yeah. foie gras. <laughs> I mean, just... Yeah, he can make some foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, how was that? Foie gras. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, stuff like that. I mean, just anything that you could think of uh, that was top of the line. I mean, caviars that were just out of this world uh people would come in but like the craziest thing is like there would be regulars to that restaurant where it would be 175 per person all the time or it bumped up to like 215 230 per person and it was just top of the line but we had crazy stories like there would be people that would come in and we would know them by name. We would greet them. We would say hello. We would ask them how their cousins are. I mean, whatever it could be. It was just we knew everything about them. We knew their dietary preferences. We knew that they were allergic to peanuts or soybeans or cashews or anything. And then we would produce a menu based on their likes or dislikes. If you don't like mushrooms, you wouldn't have mushrooms. If you like... I love mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, if you didn't like Crocs, like uh, yeah, the fuck. kitchen staff would Dude. not wear Crocs. Thank okay, God. Was, yeah. <laughs> if if you wanted a Lone Star beer tasting, we would provide that. Anything that you wanted, we could produce. It was bottom line, like it could be your favorite restaurant if you had enough money, you know, but. <laughs> There would also be times where, like, you know, you're getting a, a wine pairing with 10 courses, and it's three, four ounces of wine per course. I mean, there would be people that would drink prior and come in lit, where, dude, you know, you're know at a... people that do that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Boy, this sounds like pretty fancy stuff. So it was. You, y'all serve caviar. Y'all serve truffle. Yep. Yep. So what would like a, a serving of caviar? Like say, I come in to order. Hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? And I'll have a little caviar. What was? What is that going to run me? Just out of curiosity. One hundred and seventy-five bucks. One hundred seventy-five for bucks. for an ounce. An ounce. I was going to say, what's the portion? Yeah. Oh, so see, I'll measure ounce. that shit like weed in there. One hundred percent. So like, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, no, no, and it's with the same scale that you were. Weighing out weed. What does that shit, what does 100%. it taste like, man? Like caviar, you get a serving. How do you eat it, and what does it taste like? I would Is tell it, you it tastes like the ocean. Tastes like the ocean. So, so does it taste like uh, salt? Does it taste salt? like uh, Bolivar, like Crystal Beach? Or? I didn't. I didn't taste it, but I uh. did see a dead fish. <laughs> but it's exactly <laughs> like Destin. It's beautiful. It was probably that same one that Porter stepped on. Yeah. Oh my God! Years have ago. I ever told that story on here? Yes, yes you, you have. You I have. told the story. I'm pretty sure it was posted like, a clip from it before. <laughs> I'm usually intoxicated during this thing. I'm I'm actually pretty. I'm being chill right now. Sober man. Uh, yeah. Sticking to the beer today. I know. I, I didn't bring no <laughs> bourbon, but sorry, we didn't. So Mitchell, you're asking. I got a care package for, coming for you. Yeah, no, I can't on wait. Well, I'm just curious. The caviar, like, if I go in somewhere, an ounce. I mean, caviar is probably one. just like a compliment to your meal. I would assume. Huh? Lloyd's gonna put one in your care package. Look, first off, before we go any spoiled, farther, to get spoiled. You, you, Mitchell, they don't let people walk in with Crocs and buy caviar. Well, if I'm I was if I was to go to a restaurant like that, obviously I would dress nice and wear boots. Okay, I, I, just, I don't even think boots would be on the menu. <laughs> Oh, like you have to wear something nice. Like you probably got to wear something. Nice. I throw in those Lucasi ostrich skin boots. I'd probably be able to get in just fine. You'd probably be able to get in. 
Yeah. But um, no, I'm just, <laughs> just curious like, about the caviar. Just like caviar, like, I don't know what you're talking about, boots. I yeah. don't know. I just, I've always heard of people eating it and like, it's kind of like a delicacy, I guess. It, I was just curious if it was 100%. like worth the money. Oh, you've never had caviar at all? I've had no desire to eat either. caviar. Oh, it's fantastic. Never it's not as good as foie gras. I just said it tastes like <laughs> sea. It tastes like the sea. What is this foie gras shit, Chuck? Dude, you've about? never had food. We I'm pretty about sure it early. you told me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the sausage? No, no, it's the the the, the liver. liver of a the goose. The liver. That's yeah. right. Goose that's liver, right. bro. And if you've never had foie gras, I would fuck up some goose liver, dude, bro. Foie gras is so good. <laughs> like, uh, I'm telling you. The best the place sales to- after this podcast or <laughs> yeah, the, whoever is selling. Flagra is gonna be. <laughs> they're like, holy shit, and caviar. And yeah, caviar, caviar and flagra, and hopefully Crocs just goes. <laughs> but um, so you did flagra. You did like yeah. wh- what's the most bougie meal you've probably ever prepped? Like I mean, like it wasn't Dino Nuggets like with your own hands. Like yeah, like you did it yourself. Like uh, seahorse okay, spine so or something. At, at one point at the restaurant that I was. Uh, working at I was one of the butchers and we would butcher stuff like turbo which has to be legally it has to be line caught what is turbo it's a flat fish kind of like flounder okay. but very expensive oh like very <laughs> expensive you don't hear that getting opened up before caviar <laughs> <laughs> probably not you'd hear more of like a bottle like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> uh, so it, it was like <laughs> that either. Dude, I would highly enjoy a pinch right now. But I got some wintergreen. <laughs> you want me to pass it to you? Yeah. I guarantee you that can's empty. <laughs> it's not. Never Wait, my a quarter anyway. of a pinch. No, nah, I'm good. There's some. Anyway, so you ca- you 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 yeah. butcher this turbo. Yeah, so it's either Turbo or John Dory or something super expensive to where, like, you can't get it on the market. But so say Turbo, so it's a flatfish generally. Uh, uh, have you ever done any flounder or yeah. anything? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so flounder's got four sides mm-hmm. generally. So a uh, flatfish has eyes on the top. It's got four sides. It'll have the two on the front, two on the back, and then, like, the delicacy is the cheeks. Right, so the the front or back cheeks, like the the front. Okay, I didn't know if you're talking about the ass cheeks. You know, only you. <laughs> I gotta go. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Okay, so uh, like that is a delicacy. So we would sell generally like a four ounce piece of turbo as like an accoutrement, which is an additional side for their meal for like ninety bucks. Oh, and it would come with like spinach and a burp blanc which is a butter sauce and that's it let's say that word again burp blanc burp blanc burp blanc okay. that's just what'd you say butter yeah so <laughs> generally so that why don't they just say is fucking that, butter yeah that, no 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 so it's not blanc land is of a, like so country no, no, no. crock <laughs> neither butter so, cream so so look like <laughs> that 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 business is the way that I run my business. It's molded the exact same yeah. way. So there's a French cooking term that I actually have tattooed on my arm. It's mise en place. It means everything in its place. So before you start cooking, you have all of your uh, products cut. You've got everything sliced. You've got everything ready to go. So when that pan's hot, you continue to cook. So you're able to produce a better product. For the opposite every- of what I did this evening. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but we did great, and it was a good meal, <laughs> and we drank some beers. And Bro, I mean, shoot some shit. I mean, you're not too far out of the place. I mean, we did some good old Zumos and DJs. It's all just packaged up, sitting right there. Yep, you're correct. I mean, y'all ain't never had. So, you've had boudin before, huh? Before tonight? Who me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wife hadn't though. No, but did she eat some? Probably not. I, I told her to eat some boudin. She's like, "What is it?" I was like gold i know i asked you i meant to ask her i never did ask if y'all had it before i asked you i didn't she's ask a her. little less seasoned yeah well she said she's from new york just originally. about anybody you run into that is not from our freaking area does not know what boudin is it's like you know what like and like for people nobody, for period. people that's listening to this boudin is a a casing with 
basically, we're just going to say dirty rice and like meat and yeah. shit like that. Just yeah, to keep sausage. it simple. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's formed into a sausage. Yeah. But there's like right. tons of casing. sausages. Like morcia, yeah. like I was talking about. That's yeah. a blood sausage. Yep. Oh, that sounds disgusting. It's it probably tastes great. No, it's that? actually good. I don't know. It's I probably fine. have. Yeah. I have. But I'm just saying, like, when you say blood and sausage in the same blood. sentence, it's just not. Yeah, it's um, Halloween. Yeah, yeah, that's the most Halloween thing. <laughs> <laughs> Some bloody wieners. But, uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so turbo is the most expensive thing you've cooked. Not the most expensive, but it's, so generally the most expensive is Wagyu, but we'll get... So, I don't know if you were at my house when I showed you. So, we would get WAG strip loins, which are, like, some of the top-grade stuff. It's A5. So, unlike America, Japan won't ship the highest quality products out. But if you live and work in America, we generally ship the best stuff out Right, like, because yeah. we want to be proud of what we're doing, so we send our stuff out. So, uh, Japan will only send, so there's a grading scale based on their beef. Uh, A5 is generally, like, half. A10 is the best. A5 is middle grade. I didn't know it went to A10. I thought well, A5 that's was that's top Because we don't see that shit. Yeah, th- it doesn't get shipped out, so you won't ever see it. A10, huh? Dude, I would love it's to nasty. try some eight ten boy. Doesn't it, uh doesn't Mitchell owe Porter a steak? He does. An A ten steak? He does owe me a steak. We might be flying to Japan to get steak this A-10. Porter's choice. We ain't going yes. to Japan. I told him I'd bring him <laughs> wherever he wanted to I got I got friends that live in Japan if you'd like to go. Oh, thank God. We the, got the same the steak. same chef. The, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. She's from she's still there right now. That's cool. So yeah. if you knew someone from Japan, say, Hey, send me over a steak. No way. You'd never get it past customs. Really? Like, it's illegal to ship it out? A hundred percent. That's weird. Mm. That's Dude, wild. It, that food laws are way <laughs> worse than you think they are. So, uh, that steak will actually come. So, it's a wag strip loin. That steak will actually come with a birth certificate of the cow that it's slaughtered from. <coughs> so, I'll know the mother's name, the father's name. I'll have a nose print, which is... Like a uh, a thumbprint for cows. most humans, but for cows, yeah. And yeah, it'll cows be cows don't have thumbs, so perfect. Wait, Understand thank God. Print. Wait, that's new to me. So yeah. Keep going. Don't now wanna, you know. Don't want to interrupt that. Yeah. So uh, they'll have a, a mother's name, father's name, uh, the nose print, the age, which is generally like two and a half years, and we'll get this wag strip loin that is like hard as a brick like it is so dense with fat that it melts at room temperature oh my god so (laughs) yeah like like it starts to melt at room temperature to where like if you were to leave that piece generally like two to four ounces because you're not you're not eating that for dinner you're eating that for a side you're eating that for like an addition to your meal Generally, you'll have like a piece of Kobe beef and then two or four ounces of wag, depending on how rich you are. Because Jesus that's Christ. how, sh- you know, <laughs> generally how stuff is measured, <laughs> you know. So we, do, we go by pounds in Texas. It's like, how yeah. big is that ribeye? That's about a pound and a half. Okay. But in, in fine dining, uh, ounces are more uh, accurate. So you'll go by ounces or grams. So all of our recipes are either in ounces or grams. You sound like you're doing some Breaking Bad shit. Dude, if you broke out grams in front of me for a recipe, <laughs> I'd be fucked. Yeah. It's like you got two grams of uh, steak. It's I can like, deal with ounces. Ounces are easy. Yeah. But no, grams are just so small, you ain't going to get full off a of gram, boy. Exactly. Nah, if you cut me a couple of grams of a Wagyu st- like what's That's the point? 12 of ounces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how many, how many uh, pieces of beer is that? <laughs> it's 12 perfect it's a six pack no that's cool though man I, I i never knew that it went up to that high of grade since we only get a i thought always see like a fives like the premier you know highest level you can go well yeah you see them crate there's 
those idiots on uh, social media that are like, watch me fry the most expensive steak in the world, at A5 Wagyu. And I'm like, okay, no, you're you're not doing that. It, well, it's first, the most I mean, expensive that they can, they can get. get. Yeah. You know. Well, I've never had Wagyu, like good Wagyu. It's like, offensive. You know, I've never it had is. it. It's like butter. Like you wouldn't want a full steak. It's not going to tell you that you're going to be full after you eat it. It's like eating liquid, basically. Like margarine. Milk. Yeah, like, like you're yes. eating margarine out of it's, the tub. It's really good. At room temp. At room temp margarine. So would I eat it just raw? Uh, it would be like no more than mid-rare. Well, I, I like raw. Like, So wipe the ass, cut the horns, keep the hair, and I'll eat it. Yeah, probably. I eat a steak. And then I'll tell you who you ate. Oh, good. Anybody. I would like to know what the name of the cow is that I eat. Yeah. I'll send you a photo. Oh, yeah. Just helps you out. Helps you with the digestion. <laughs> so, it's Floyd, big deal. you, um, these A10 Wagyu beef, like, so these things, they're the ones that, like, you feed them, like, Lone Star Light. You give them buttermilk baths. You, like, crank their tater. You do it all. Like, they these these cows live the life. Shave them. Yeah, like everything. Yep. Everything. <laughs> yeah, generally they they talk about like massaging the cow, feeding it beer. I mean, like I guess if you were to look at so like if you're to hunt an elk or you're you're like you're looking at lean meat, this is the polar opposite of that animal. And you know, wow. you're talking about fat is flavor. This is the culmination this is the best thing that you can get this is the highest grade how can you do better and you know like if you look at a lot of these foreign countries like whatever they do they do it the best right so like japan produces this product they do it the best it just happens to be a cow so it's weird too because other countries like the people are tiny and they eat fat things but over here we're fat and eat tiny things so they work their asses off. I guess so, and we don't. We just reap the benefits. We Probably. Eat foie gras and stuff like that. <laughs> so, Ben, this is a serious question I've been wanting to ask you. So, do you know how to make foie gras? Like, you can make some So, I, I couldn't make it, but I could cook it. So, a lot of the pita people, like, you know, it is not great to make foie. Like... So essentially, like you're taking <laughs> goose and and you're feeding it to the point where they're stuffing their liver so hard that it calcifies, like it it is to the point where they are eating themselves to death, and that's why people in PETA and and animal rights activists are no good with that. So for a long time, it was outlawed. And you take that and you literally fry it like a piece of butter, and it is one of the best things you'll ever eat. Oh, I know. I, it dude, is so good. Dude, but, like, so what if I, like, so I'm about to go on this Montana trip, and these Canada geese have, have been eating wheat and corn and, like, sugar beets and shit like that. It's just not enough. It's not you enough. Need no, 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 no. Or you, you need a wing force one. Force feed them. You got to wing one and bring it home. And Alive. just force feed it. And force feed that bastard. Probably. Hmm. I mean, or, or we could just start, I guess, farm I'll raising. I'll just own. send you some. I, I some, still have contacts in this uh, dude, French is, company, D'Artagnan. I can some, send you some. You can send me some. Fondra. There's an unlimited Fondra. amount of Canadians at Toledo Bend right now. Yeah, dude. Those things eat piles and of corn every day. We could catch them every day. So you're going on a trip? Yeah, in like two, we leave in like two weeks. Is it to Disney? Uh, not no, Did you not win the this Super trip. Bowl. I wish, I wish. Is the Super Bowl going to be at Disney this year? Probably. Okay, you should come out of retirement and cook for the uh, the not Buffalo good. Bills when they go to the Super Bowl. You'd you'd be offended of how much money Disney pays you to run one of their restaurants. <sighs> well, you're making hats now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that tells you anything. It pushed Floyd into selling hats. Yeah, maybe we can do, but it's not hats. <laughs> it's like an it, overall well, a brand of, feel. Yeah, it's just hats. Are, are are big sellers of, right now. Do you think we could we sell do. a hat that says Flo Gro on it? 
No, but maybe Floyd Fabrication. Okay. Fabrication. Just flower ground fabrication. Yeah. How do you actually pronounce it? Foie gras. Foie gras. Perfect. That's it. What the fuck do you keep saying, Porter? Foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, dude, people are going to be like, why does this dude keep saying foie gras? And why does he how say many, it like that? How many people know? Uh, Nobody. The, the 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 inside of Flagra, uh, yeah, three, three people. Perfect. Well, you're speaking to them. I am speaking to them. Because We have. I have gone. I even when me and Delaney were in Orlando, I was like, uh, after we we went to that to uh, that restaurant, ate some really good sushi that you'd recommended. Yeah, us yeah. To go How do. was that? It was good. Oh, fantastic. Delaney still to this day thinks that might have been some of the best sushi she's had. Because we did like the whole sashimi sushi rolls. Uh, it may be close Nagini to the or, water or, or, over it, there. It, it was great. Fantastic. And then after that, the next day, I was like, I need to find a place that sells some good plant ground. And it was pretty good. It wasn't as good as uh, the spring over in Georgia, like north of Augusta, some little BFE town, but it was pretty good plant ground. <laughs> so, but Yeah. <coughs> culinary traveler over here yeah yeah you know yeah. and you just go to disney and then that's it mitchell goes to bolivar goes to hardheads <laughs> yeah i actually yeah. like that uh i've never been to hardheads but they got a place down the road called jose's they got some really good drinks and some good food stingery like go there stingery has good food though. stingery is good stingery is good but yeah. i like the the just hole in the wall kind of like chill not many people there type of vibe you know so Stingery's pre- pretty loaded. If Floyd didn't now. have his kids with them, like I could, we could point him to some really cool places in Galveston where you could go just get fucking whacked, <laughs> and like some good, like that Texas Tales Distillery, that vodka distillery oh, over man. there. They have some bomb ass Bloody Mary. I'm gonna too. give them a shout out, man. Bloody Mary at that Texas Tales. <laughs> um, they they have like a so you, they have a jalapeno. They have habanero. they just go hotter and hotter. Ha, uh, habanero ghost and pepper. They have fucking ghost. And he was like, which one do you want? I was like, fuck, give me the fucking jalapeno. I don't want nothing hotter than that, you know? And it was badass. Was it hot? It, it was. It had a little kick to it, but it was it was perfect, you know? It I, like, I roll with the habanero. Yeah, I was about to say, Porter, I figured you went habanero. I, went habanero. I, lo- I love habaneros. Oh, yeah, no, the habanero is good. But, like, they're like, oh, you can have the, the Ghost Reaper uh, something, something, California, something, burn your asshole, something. And I'm like. I'm cool. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't really want to sit here. Die today. I don't want to eat Tums at 9 a.m. Ain't trying to torch that rectum, you know, before lunch. Yeah. But <laughs> but they also, like, one of the best, like, they also, they do all their vodka and stuff, like, in-house. And, uh, but I had some whiskey. I had a uh, old-fashioned over there, and it was fantastic, too. <clears throat> fantastic. They, they had this blueberry uh, vodka shit, man. Like this drink they made, blueberry vodka. I think they have different vodka flavors they make. That shit was good, too. Yeah. But if Floyd has his kid, so he's going to go trick-or-treating with Tanner. He's dressing up as me. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Hopefully I think I'm dressing up uh, as I'll a character you. that I, I do not know. Uh, like, like I think from Stranger Things. Uh, Vecna? Oh, that's right. I, don't, I, I just I don't know. I don't watch anything. I hope you dress up as eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh, maybe. No, he needs to dress up as Dustin. <laughs> teeth and all. Yeah, no teeth. You mean no teeth? Just take your teeth out. So you never seen Stranger Things? Never. Oh my dude, God, I don't damn. watch anything. Okay, we watched that Dahmer show. Trash. So you watched that before you watched Stranger Things? Dude, I don't watch anything. I don't do anything but work. Okay, you gotta watch. Stranger okay, Things. look. I'm Take a week to, off and watch Stranger Things. Dude, I took a couple of days off to come here. <laughs> After well, we get off this podcast, Netflix, you, right? yeah, you have Netflix in there. Watch Stranger Things, dude. Fantastic. We definitely pay for Netflix. I don't watch it. It's fantastic. You need to. Porter yeah, hasn't yeah. even watched Breaking Bad, and he's sitting here recommending oh. TV oh my shows. God. Okay, Breaking Bad is good. You Never should watch it. I should. Okay, now he's going to watch it because Floyd Because Floyd to. said. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. Because I'm to forever. Because Floyd is a reputable person, and I can trust him. <laughs> We're just trash. Well, y'all yeah. wear chum. Crocs. So We're chum. Tanner. Y'all wear Crocs. <laughs> so I can't. Me and Mitch will mean nothing. Might no. as well just call us chum. Chum. Yeah, y'all are the chum bucket, bro. <laughs> just, 
Y'all just a bunch of little planktons, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what your so you, like? Do you let your family watch TV, or is that like something <laughs> do off? You let your family watch. I let them do whatever. I have noticed every time we get here, the TV's want. off. So. Like Floyd has like something. We're on like, vacation, man. He's against the television. Yeah. I'm not against the TV. <laughs> Floyd, what like, did it do to you, man? Do you want your... me? Do you want me to tell you that my kid watches the iPad? No, no. You want I'm... me to admit that? No, it's fine. Everybody's kid does. No, that's when, not... when we go to dinner, he what watches the doesn't... iPad. <laughs> it hurts me. Does it? Does wow. irk you? Does he have at least mine, headphones? Mine on? does. If what? he's being an absolute, he's shit. two. He has a cell phone. Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, he has a WhatsApp. I was about to doggy for that one. No, nah, nah. hey, he just uh, got a Twitter. Hey Porter, for Evan's he birthday, does. when he gets old enough, uh, we'll buy him an iPhone so he knows the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. So everybody that Y'all are dicks. Dude. Yeah, the so, green text is tough, <laughs> dude, bro. So yeah. Tanner is in denial, and yeah. so yeah. the whole thing is Tanner's in denial. He has a Samsung and. <laughs> Yeah. He what sucks is like we do group messages and I'll send like a photo of something like a new hat that you just sent and everybody's like, Hey, like you're gonna have to resend it. It's just shitty quality and it's like, <laughs> Oh, it's because it's in that green fucking message box. Well anytime Tanner tries to send us anything, you don't get the message, you get an audio and all it says is droid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude uh, and he won't and he won't yeah. and all he does is send TikToks about how droids are better than a iPhone and it's like, Hey Tanner you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> He's dressing up as one for Halloween. That's what dude. you should have been for Halloween. A damn <laughs> droid. A nice yeah, droid. It would have been scary as hey. shit. Hey, a I'll green text. What. Joe. Joe has a Samsung. <laughs> if Joe has a Samsung, that should tell you something. No, okay. Joe's When's the last time you talked to Joe? Joe is Joe. When's the last time you talked to Joe, Tanner? Uh, okay. So, <laughs> that that we, we can't get a hold of him. We don't know if it's... Him being an asshole, or it's if it's definitely him, him, or it's him having a it's, Samsung. It's him. It's a hundred percent him, it's dude. I I shoot him a text message. He goes, oh, "I didn't get that till like a week later." I'm like, "Oh, why?" He's like, "Oh, he's full of trash." Because my Samsung uh, broke, and I had to get a new one. But well, thanks for replying to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I always reply. Thank you. Except yeah, for, except for Demitchell. Yeah, Tanner doesn't <laughs> text me unless he's wanting to talk shit. <laughs> Where are you going on vacation? Who are you talking about, Mitchell? Oh, he's already here. Dude, I'm here. <laughs> this is my this is my vacation, man. I'm not shitting you, dude. Stay, stay. You got a couple more days for life, dude. So Mitchell has been talking about though. He really before you move to Texas, Floyd, he does want to go to Orlando. He wants you to take him to the nicest better, Taco Bell. You better move quick. Yeah, <laughs> better move quick. Bro. I don't know if I can make swing the, that for this, a couple of years. Honestly. December first, dude. Just sell your deadline. truck. Sell your truck. Y'all just bought a Ooh, new me? Ford. But not, not you. Not oh. you, Floyd. You know, I honestly Ooh. thought about selling my truck because we bought Aaron that car, and I, she has that old Focus. I'll just drive that son of a bitch around, put a hitch on it, or a, a receiver. <laughs> I bet it would pull I bet it would pull you your truck. You should dress boat. it up like it a would. croc. I it bet would. it would. It would pull my duck boat. Dude, that's what y'all should be for Halloween know. tomorrow. Back onto that subject. Tanner should be a droid, and Mitchell should be a croc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old croc, though. Like one with no tread on it. Like the ones he's wearing now. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell, just wear Crocs, nothing else. Nude. Nudist. You're nude. <laughs> it's Halloween, so you can't get in trouble. No, it's part of the uh, theme, man. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to dress up as tomorrow. Probably myself. Sit at, I'll just do a Instagram Porter's, live. Porter's not going to hang out with us. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go do his own thing. I am. I'm not going to trick-or-treat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> People find it weird whenever I go up there <laughs> without kids. Nude and crops. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's, just, <laughs> that's a good one, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, so, man, I've hit almost all the topics of what I've wanted to ask you, Floyd, for a while. Um, you chefed. You yep. have a logo. Bit, are you basically – how do you keep putting it? You, you produce people's logos to them in mass production. Or something like we that. We do anything with a logo. I don't want to say you just do hats because you don't. You do a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, but that's that's what's producible. Like that's what people are looking for. That's well, what's important right now. You know, you're a unique human because every week you go, "Hey, I just got this. I can do this now." And I'm like, you, "Like we we escalated from hats to like I, we don't have it up right now, but usually we have the podcast sign. We don't have nowhere <clears> to yeah. put it up, but like you you do." Um, 
uh, canvas signs and all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. Like, well, we got like, okay. So if I were to look at, at business, like there's a, there's a saying that goes like, look for the problem and be the solution. So if you're looking for, uh, people to continue to do business with you, like how do you become the solution? So if they're asking you for something like, why don't you just listen to him? And enough of them ask like, Hey, I need stickers or I need something printed or like, dude, like the other week I did, uh, uh, printed, uh, car magnets for uh, a van, you know, they can't wrap the van. So they wanted to do magnets that they can pull off. Right. Cause they rented the van for an event. Like I happened to just, you know, go, go all in when someone asks me for something. So I literally bought a $28,000 printer and now we do stickers. We do canvases. We do, uh, just about anything printed, uh, from a vehicle wrap to, uh, two inch stickers to one inch stickers to you name it. Like, are you going to be able to get that, that big sticker for me for that Montana trip? Up up to 64 inch. Yeah. But that's what like, we'll need, the maximum that, size. That's what I, like I said, the just the the biggest OG Bayou Dragon logo. I'm going to put it on that trailer. If we buy a trailer. Good luck. In no, 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 no. I'm going to put it on uh, Colton's for the Montana trip. Oh, you are taking his. Okay. Yeah. We, no, no. We He has one. <laughs> you want to take a six by 10? I'll just give you mine. No, we have a 16 it's foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Okay. Sorry, we're going to be rolling croc around. Croc size. Yeah, croc size, boy. Mm-hmm. Mitchell will not be allowed to bring the crocs to Montana because they don't wear mon- uh, crocs in Montana. I'm who's just who's all going on the trip? Shoes, man. Uh, me, Mitch, Matt, and then my buddy Colton and another guy named Cole. Killer? Yes. Good. You guys yeah, stoked? there's going to be a lot of yes, good shit that comes out of Montana content-wise, and we're going to have a blast just being there and being able to shoot some birds. We're pretty pumped about it. The whole deal is it's it's a treat, and I'm glad Mitchell will get to experience it. And then we'll come back for basically like less than a month, and me and Tanner will be heading up to Lubbock, Texas, to go do basically the same kind of thing. So got some really cool shit coming along hunting-wise. That was great. How about finishing out the year? Finish, or, I mean, with hunting I mean, or with what? Everything. I mean, it's about to be. I mean, look, it's November first. Yeah. Oh no, it's October thirty first. Boy, you ain't even dressed up yet. It's actually October thirtieth. <laughs> okay, but what I'm saying As is, right now it is. When you go home, it'll be November first. Uh, I mean. I'm sure we're going to have some more hats from you. We're going to have another shirt design before the end of the year with our newest shirt that we just dropped today. That will be our new stuff on there. We'll have vinyl stickers for vehicles. Hoodies restocked. Hoodies and all that shit will be restocked. We're uh, in the mix of getting that going. And then hunting You got trip. beanies? Yeah. Beanies? For the we cold do. season? We got. Yeah. I should have wore a beanie this whole podcast. Yeah. I didn't even think about it. You should have wore it. You have hair. Yeah, I should have. You, you would have looked... Like Avril Lavigne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, exciting shit we got coming throughout the rest of the year. Keep pumping out some content that all y'all love. <laughs> and yeah. uh, going to keep all pushing that shit out, you know, uh, as much as we can. And just keep trying to grow and continue to get better with everything we do. Yeah, more dip videos. and <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put out whatever the people uh, like, man. I do. The people enjoy it. So, look, like, the big push for, like, any brand is full brand recognition, right? So, like, how can you produce a custom one-off blank, right? So, we're pushing for that. You're doing shirts. You're doing beanies. You're doing hats. You're doing uh, Koozies, Crocs. stickers. We're, we're not on Crocs yet, oh, but cro- I hope we never Crocs. Do. Don't say that word. Like, when it comes through my head, headset, it is... Breaks I'm, up. I'm a brand one. <laughs> you're gonna, you better send it straight to Mitch. Dude, if we had I'll some Crocs, would buy what are those size twenty sevens? Yeah, Mitchell, what do you wear? Thirteen, tw- eighteens. Yeah, thirteens. Are they're they thir- really? Yeah, they're thirteen. Yeah, he has one of those NBA feet. <laughs> Not really? That's I could tell average, I worked it. Average size. <laughs> average? Yeah, it's not average. Well, average for who? Giant Shaq. <laughs> Dude, you're yeah. like Jesus. 
But anyway, <coughs> yeah, that's um. You got anything else, Floyd? I mean, everybody needs to follow Floyd Fabrication on TikTok and Instagram. Make sure he gets to a thousand so he can start doing lives. Because he does, you do go live on Instagram, answer questions, and I, I do on occasion. Uh, I get like twelve viewers. Hell yeah! Maybe but you'll get thirteen after this. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you know it. it, it <laughs> It's a grind, you know, like like you guys say, it's just, uh, it's about producing content. It's about people listening or watching or viewing. It's about how many people like what you're doing and can you outsource, like, the amount of people that dislike you, you know? <laughs> like, really, like, when you're looking at it, it's like, how can you... Uh, okay, so last month I had 160 follows and 60 unfollows. Like, that's tough. That's terrible. So, uh, it's all about growing as much as the platform allows you to grow and keeping at it. I'd say. That was a disgusting Dude, lady. I uh, didn't know what the <laughs> fuck that was at first. Well, I'm, I think we should end it on that um, yeah, that, that beer good. getting open. So uh, we appreciate everybody always tuning in, listening. Um, it'll be live here in the next 48 hours um, on YouTube, Instagram, or Spotify, Apple Music. Be po- uh, little clips and shit on TikTok, and we appreciate everybody that's supported us so far. And uh, check out our new shirt on the website, com. Got a bunch of hats and whatever your needs are, we got it. Yep. And if you got anything that you need to get done, holler at Floyd Fabrication. He might take you. Yep. So we appreciate it, Floyd. And uh, whenever you move to Texas, we'll do it again. Thank you, boys. Very soon.